Sitting full seiza is a traditional way to be seated in Japanese culture. To do so, we're going to sit on our ankles with our toes pointed behind us just like this. Trying to increase our ankle mobility, our knee stability and our knee strength in this very flexed position and working on our hip mobility in this position as well. If this is too much for you and you want to take some pressure off of your ankles, you can take a pad and slide it underneath your legs just like this, giving you a little bit more flexibility in the ankles, not so much pressure on them. If you need to take pressure off of your knees, take the pad, slide it between your thighs and your lower legs just like this so that your knees aren't at such a tight degree of flexion. Now, once you establish a good position, adding some body weight and feeling comfortable sitting in this position for 30, 45, even 60 seconds at a time, let's increase the intensity a little bit. Take your hands, put them behind you, putting more body weight on your ankles just like this. Let's take the opportunity to get a little bit more flexibility in our quads and our hip flexors. Drive our hips up to full extension, get a nice stretch, and then back down to the full seiza. Another way to increase intensity is to take your hands off of the ground, like this, and hold. The further back you can go, the better. If that's too much for you, you can back off to a half seiza, which is just a half squat with one leg, taking a lot of body weight off of the leg in seiza and working on increasing the intensity one leg at a time. Good luck, guys.